Hello and welcome back to CryptoSchnack. My name is Marian. I'm your host today and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and you had or will have a great Sunday. So guys, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. And if you're not, welcome back. It's nice to have you all here. And today we're going to talk about a few things that are regarding Tesla. And in the background, you do see the update from Giga Berlin. Credits go to Jürgen from GF4 Tesla channel. I will uh, put the link in the um, description so you can support his channel. And um, yeah, I'm allowed to use his content for those who are not sure about that fact. And um, you will in the further in the video, you will see um, the update from the Giga Austin. So I hope you enjoy this concept of um, both or one of those Giga constructions. And um, I hope you will enjoy the news I'm talking about every day. And if you do so, please do support my channel and subscribe to my channel to further stay updated. So uh, before I dive into the news, we have seen massive, massive construction um, happening in Berlin. It looks like um, they are really on pace to be able to produce the first cars in Q Q1. Um, when I read this, to be honest, I had not checked out the uh, Giga Berlin construction site for a few days and I was when um, when Tesla slash Elon Musk were stating they there could be um, Model Y produced in Q1. Um, I found it first pretty crazy, but if I look at it right now and we are at the beginning of November, it's the first November. And um, so that means we have another eight weeks of this year, let's say seven weeks as we have the um, vacations and holidays in between. But this is something that will be happening a lot in those um, till the end of the year. And even if we are starting to produce cars and deliver cars at the end of Q1, I find that pretty realistic now as I see how the construction has um, progressed. Um, so um, I'm really happy to see how Tesla has been um, dealing with all the hurdles they had in the um, German side. And yeah, so um, it looks really exciting and I hope you will enjoy it in the background. And I do have um, further news um, actually as we talk about Germany. So um, there has been a public um, state side um, saying that um, Tesla has to pay a fine of 12 million euros because they have not um, correctly done the battery recycling. Um, I believe, um, yeah, it might have been um, some mistakes from Tesla sites, but I think uh, the same with the um, water issue they had before. I think there are many things that um, they will be starting to deal with with the German authorities and they will click quickly adapt to it and um, deal with um, issues that come into the news. Um, but of course we see here again that Tesla has so much attention at the moment and every um, everything that is, it doesn't matter how small the news is, is already um, talked about and um, no one talks about a 12 million fine for Ford or VW or Audi. It is just, um, they just send a letter and um, the companies are paying it. So um, it is crazy how much attention um, Tesla gets. Um, now we have something, uh, something more exciting even. Um, the LFB battery, the new battery they are installing right now um, from China. Um, it looks like um, the battery is um, even charging faster. So um, not only do we have the superchargers and the charger network from Tesla, uh, which has been improved over the um, over a span of time and the technology has been getting better and better. Um, now um, there seems to be proof that um, those who have received um, LFB battery um, inside their Model 3s in China, um, that they are reporting that the um, charging is faster as expected and it is even possible to charge to 100% of the battery. Um, so this was something 
um, before it was barely possible and it was not advised to do so because the um, the uh, battery would not take that that well and the power of the battery in the long term would get really weak so um, in this case it looks like um, with the new technology and the batteries um, um, it looks like um, the LFP battery makes it possible to um, recharge faster and um, to recharge to a total of 100% so I find that really interesting and this is just the beginning so again we are still progressing in the technology and batteries will get better and um, this doesn't include the new battery cell that um, Tesla is currently um, starting to produce in the beta version so um, yeah it is really exciting to see how the technology of batteries will involve, evolve in the future um, furthermore there are a lot of articles saying that um, the competition is getting bigger and bigger and um, VW and all these other companies are, uh, will be catching Tesla so I want to um, I want to say something about that um, first of all um, yes there might be um, the fact that the other car companies are actually um, jumping on the train of electric vehicles because they see the success of Tesla on the other hand guys um, what a lot of people forget is the big advantage of Tesla will be and this will happen for a long time in the future that they produce their own batteries they have the entire production line in their own hands and VW had a lot of issues in the in the in the past with the diesel and um, all these companies that are in um, I involved in uh, bringing the products a lot of issues and they are doing actually the same mistake again VW is working with Chinese um, um, companies together to get the batteries again I have nothing against China in this case but always remember what is happening if these Chinese um, battery uh, manufacturers say okay I'm going to increase the prices VW has nothing to do, can't, can't do anything on the other hand Tesla is at the point where they are able to produce their own batteries and this is where they are pushing Panasonic to um, be better in the future and Panasonic and LG are not the only companies they are working with but because they are working um, on their own battery and this is putting pressure on them and this is exactly where um, Tesla is so far ahead of the competition and I believe that VW and other co companies will get issues if they don't do the same as um, Tesla is doing so um, this is uh, just to clarify um, if the competi competition is coming yes I do believe they are coming but again is it going to be the same way as Tesla is dominating the market I believe not um, because I believe um, Tesla is like Apple and Apple in the early days was dominating the market as well but what then happened at a certain point guys is that they didn't um, continue to um, develop new technologies and they didn't um, uh, they didn't involve in the f uh, the they didn't analyze the co competition as good as they have done before and uh, new products were taking much longer and now the competition has catched up and um, I do believe that in the Tesla case um, as long as Elon Musk is living there will be um, so much more technology coming and I believe that there might be new per, um, managers coming to place that will continue this path in the future if Elon Musk is at one day not um, taking care of Tesla anymore um, so another thing is the um, 20 million um, vehicles by 2030 just to um, again give a perspective what that means um, we do have 2 billion cars in the world right now and if we really want to go to sustainable um, cars if we want to have be have electric cars be really successful um, and we want to make a, diff a difference in the world then we have to have a 1% change of the entire car um, all the cars outside 
and 1% of the total sold cars or the 1% uh, of the total cars in the world is um, is 20 million. Um, if if Tesla would take 20 million and the rest of the car makers would take, let's say, 10 million, we would still need more than 10, 15, 20 years at least so that the half of the entire world cars are actually um, electric or having other kind of um, technology inside a part of um, diesel, etc. So, um, yeah, let's see what Tesla is doing in the next 10 years. Um, I believe they could reach this number, even if it sounds crazy right now. But if they continue um, working like they are doing right now, I think they could. And the only thing that needs to stay there is the demand. And this is the only uncertainty in the future. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you do so, um, I would really appreciate if you can um, give me a subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And um, yeah, 